was 1908. While Henry Ford completed his first Model T automobile, women were allowed to compete in the Olympics for the first time. In New York City, a very special ball celebrating New Year's Day was dropped in Times Square, although Dick Clark was nowhere to be seen. Meanwhile, in the town of Raleigh, North Carolina, a school was built that would change the history of the state forever. Established on what would become known as North Person Street, the Murphy School almost immediately burned to the ground, only to be rebuilt even better than before in 1913. Years passed, and the Murphy School established itself as a prime institution for shaping young minds. In 1960, the North Carolina School Board gathered for their monthly meeting. Who knew then that history was about to be made? The fact that Murphy School here on Person Street was the first school that was integrated by my younger brother Bill Campbell in September of 1960. Our family was very involved in the whole Murphy School situation. When I say situation, going all the way back to when William Campbell was the first African-American student to attend the then all-white Raleigh school system, my dad made the motion to accept William Campbell into the school system. This is a historic picture of my younger brother and my mother as they were integrating Murphy School in September of 1960. I guess 15 or so years ago, we renovated that project, that Murphy School. We were able to ask the city council to end up, one, getting the site saved as a historic property, or getting it converted, the old school, into residential uh, uh, apartments for the elderly. And now we see a, a, an additional benefit of being able to bring the burning coal uh, theater company to the historic uh, Murphy School Auditorium. The Murphy School, Raleigh's first integrated center for education and now the future home of the Burning Coal Theater Company. For over 10 years, Burning Coal has been a leading force in the theater community. Now, after years of producing shows in various locations, they will finally have a place to call home. There's not a venue quite like the one we're about to produce here at the Murphy School. I think we need performance venues throughout the city. Well, the need for performing art space is a critical need for the cultural diversity of the city of Raleigh or any community. Um, I mean, of course, it's very important to have those sort of attractions in, in the heart of a city, in the downtown of a city. But I think there's absolutely no reason why we can't have them in North Raleigh, in West Raleigh, in South Raleigh, indeed all throughout this, this whole town. I think we need performance space. It, there's just nothing like it. I want also something to challenge me from time to time, and there's no doubt about it that Burning Coal does that. Burning Coal's work is very exciting because it's it's not the vanilla work. It's very interesting, offbeat stuff. We are really blessed to end up having these type of groups, these type of performing arts groups, that end up bringing that cultural diversity that is drastically needed for a healthy community. It, it puts Raleigh more as as a cultural leader. It's just a wonderful aspect of this community. I think it's a good thing for our city, it's a good thing for the public, and it's a good thing for artists. Downtown Raleigh is a perfect place for something like this. Downtown Raleigh is coming to life in so many ways. Well, Raleigh should be not only a commercial center and an education center, but also really a cultural center. The, the identity of Raleigh should, should be about its culture. I would like to see Raleigh 
really be the cultural leader. The idea of additional art venues is something that complements all of what we're seeing that is very good and healthy about Raleigh. I think it's really in a way symbolic that you know they've embraced you know renovating this this old school the school that has been incredibly important to the history of this community to the history of Raleigh. I hope that people will become awakened to the to the the way that the arts can really make a community um, a special place. I think we're at the cusp of a Raleigh arts renaissance. Your support, you can help make this dream a reality. Yeah, you